Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to graph this given quadratic function without using a calculator. So before we get started let me remind you one thing that this given quadratic function is also called a parabola and the parabola has a standard form like this thing ax squared plus bx plus c and one more thing f of x is same as y just keep in your mind so in our case then this a is gonna be positive 3 b is gonna be negative 6 and c is gonna be negative 4 and one more thing that our graph of this quadratic function is going to look like much like this one is going to open up the reason it's going to open up if you look at this a the leading coefficient is positive so that is going to tell us that this is going to open up so in the very first step we want to figure out the axis of symmetry for this given function always remember axis of symmetry is simply x value and here is the formula that we will be using for x symmetry x equal to minus b over 2a and we know that from here the coefficients are a equals to 3 b equals to negative 6 and c equals to negative 4 so let's go ahead and plug it in that formula x equal to minus b over 2a means x b is negative 6 so put down negative 6 like this thing 2 times 3 so this on the top become positive 6 over 6 equals to 1 so we have x equal to 1 as an axis of symmetry and here is the graph of our x of symmetry so x equal to 1 means that this vertical dotted line is crossing x axis at 1 and in this step we're gonna figure out the vertex we want to find out the vertex vertex is simply x and y value we are looking for and as you recall in the previous step we figured out x was equal to 1 now I want you to go ahead and plug it in wherever you see x you just uh, replace it by 1 so simply wherever so this is gonna become simply 3 times 1 square minus 6 times 1 minus 4 so that is going to be 1 squared is 1 minus 6 minus 4 so this turns out to be negative 7 so y turns out to be negative 7 that means our vertex is going to be a simply xy value is 1 comma negative 7 this is your x value and this is your y value and in this step we are going to find y intercept so let me tell you the easiest easiest way to find y intercept is just look for the the last number the constant term which this is going to be always your y intercept so in our case so y intercept simply turns out to be negative 4 that's all you have to do and in this step we are going to find x intercept to find x intercept you must put always y equal to zero that means in this equation this y equals we set it equal to zero so this equation is going to look like 3x square minus 6x minus 4 equal to zero which is of course a quadratic equation and we're gonna solve it for x using a quadratic formula so here is the quadratic formula that we will be using and here are your a b and c value let's go ahead and plug it in in this one so x is going to be equal to minus b minus and b is negative 6 plus minus b square become negative 6 square minus 4 times a is 3 
c is negative 4 everything is divided by 2 times 3 let's go ahead and simplify now this becomes 6 plus minus 36 plus 48 divided by 6 and let's simplify more 6 plus minus square root of 84 divided by 6. Now we know that if we use a calculator square root of 84 this one square root of 84 is approximately equal to 9.165 so let's go ahead and plug it in so that's going to be a 6 plus minus 9.165 over 6 now we're gonna break it up you uh, along these x and uh, these positive and negative signs so first well is going to be 6 plus 9.165 divided by 6 the other one is going to be a 6 minus 9.165 divided by 6 so the first value is going to be 2.5 3 so our first x value is going to be approximately 2.53 and on this side it is going to be approximately equal to negative 0.53 and these are our two x intercepts and now let's go ahead and put it together our graph right now this is the stuff you see we figured out in our previous steps we did this thing axis of symmetry is by the way the axis of symmetry is x equal to 1 as you can see this dotted line over here so this is your axis of symmetry this is x equal to 1 that means this dotted line is is a vertical line crossing x axis at 1 and our vertex is 1 comma negative 7 this is 1 comma negative 7 1 comma negative 7 is this our vertex our y intercept is negative 4 which also we call it 0 comma negative 4 and then our x intercepts are these points okay over here you can see this is this point is 2.5 3 and this side this x intercept is negative 0 0.53 so before we connect all these points let me ask you this exosymmetry is simply uh is, is acts like a mirror so whatever you see over at the point over here so the other point on this one the reflection is going to be right up here and this point is going to become 2 comma negative 4 so now we got these points and we're going to connect them this is our vertex we're going to connect these one this is y intercept this point and these are two x intercept once we connect these one like this one our finished graph is going to look like so this is our final graph as you can see i just connected all these points and i got a nice graph and and obviously you can see that this opens up thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos